Good morning everybody, today is day two in Disneyland Paris, I think it's the 28th of September, I don't even know what day it is anymore, but today is my Toy Story bound, which I'm literally here for, so I have my Toy Story ears, I am fully obsessed with these, I think these are from Aurora's Ears and Boutique, I have this just incredible cow print bodysuit and I have this like little skirt it's got a couple of rips in from Pretty Little Thing mesh top is Motel Rocks um you can't really see but again I have some bracelets on from Hannah that says yeehaw cowgirl so again they're from oh hello I'm blurry so yeah we've got them and then I'm wearing my docks today um because you can't be a cowgirl without boots can you and I have the cutest face mask ever that I am literally screaming about but we're gonna go to the park and I'll see you there we've made it to the park and we've got the welcome show again but you can see my babies Chip and Dale look at them they are my besties and then we've got Just taking some pictures by the castle. My curls have just gone because it's like light to raining. But we're about to go on Hyperspace Mountain, which is like one of my ultimate faves. It's actually got a five minute queue. I can't freaking wait. Also, how cute is this freaking face mask? But yeah, like Discovery Land is actually dead. Also, I am here for these walls. Like, look how cute they are. Defo, when it's dry, it needs some pictures by the walls because I'm in a Toy Story bound. Just did Hyperspace Mountain, my favorite ride. What did you think? So good, I've never done it before. So that was really exciting. I had no idea what to expect. Like, it was epic. There was literally no queue. We went straight on. I can't explain how much I've missed that ride. <laughs> like, it makes me windswept though. Like, this is my hair stitch. Yeah, very windswept. Yeah, it was mess. But again, there's no one here. There is it's the weirdest thing ever. Like even Star Tours has a five minute wait. We'll go do that. Okay, yeah, we're, we're right that. here. We're we're go, we'll go, we'll go. Yeah, so after this, we're gonna go to Big Thunder. I don't even know what the time is. Let's have a look. Probably like half nine. It's 20 to 10. So if we do this and then do Big Thunder, yeah. living our best lives. We have just come off Star Tours and oh my god, out of all the times I've been on Star Tours, I've never had like the new step trilogy like films as like these scenarios and i did today like poe was in it so it was ray it was so 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 cool the park is now officially open so extra magic hours are now over and we're gonna head to big thunder mountain before it gets busy not that i think it was even gonna get busy so we also need to find kieran because i don't know what time he's coming to the park today because he isn't at a disney hotel so he doesn't get extra magic time unlike us but the park is still dead to be honest to enjoy the scaffolding behind me because the bus light here is closed but yeah like there's just like no one here and i'm here for it i've never seen the smoke around frontierland today but that's quite cool like the smoke around pocahontas's village as well but we're heading to literally the best area of the parks in my opinion we're gonna go on the ride around in the wilderness look one of the cute little boats is going it's the molly brown i've always wanted to do the boat so you know maybe this trip it might happen <laughs> also i need this gun plan to fly back in my life look at it guys the sad news is big thunder mountain is down um i'm actually gutted because all i wanted to do was go on big thunder but frontierland just has my heart it is the most beautiful thing it's just making me want to go to mexico 
I'm going to the Day of the Dead Festival because it's just the most stunning thing you've ever seen. Like, I cannot deal. There's the one for us, it's so pretty. So, fun fact, I used to watch this VHS called Disney Sing Along and right over there on a rock, Ariel used to sit in mermaid form. Really? It's the coolest thing ever. And I always wanted to see it as a kid, but obviously she doesn't do it anymore because it's freezing in France. Yeah. <laughs> but we're gonna go on Pirates because it has a five minute wait. Um, Kieran is gonna head to the park shortly. My camera's been really dark, there we go. So yeah, he's gonna head to the park shortly. So I think when he gets here, we'll just head over to studio to like meet him there. Um, but yeah, I really need to meet like Woody and Jesse today. So to be honest, maybe after we've done Pirates, Big Thunder isn't open, we can just head over to studios anyway. Sounds good. Sounds like a plan. Becca's got her new mask on. <laughs> so, Looks great. <laughs> yeah, she has like masks for photos and stuff. <laughs> and then these are like the, I actually need to cover my nose type thing and like not get COVID. Yeah. But I'm literally living for the vlogging angles in this trip because it's all chip. Um, we're on Pirate and um, we have a boat to ourselves. This is actually insane. Unheard of. <laughs> this is also though, it's a bit low-key scary. Like we're in the middle of a dark ride by ourselves with a bunch of animatronics. <laughs> Guys. Big Thunder is finally reopened and Kieran is here! No. We kind of look matching but Kieran is doing a Dodger bound from Oliver and Company <laughs> um, and obviously I'm doing like my cowgirl bound so yeah let's go on Big Thunder the wildest ride in the wilderness Jack Scallington, we had a horrible time and Kieran made his day even more horrible. <laughs> um, obviously that was sarcasm, he loves having a horrible day. We are now going to a favourite, the Lucky Nugget. It's an acquired experience, I personally would say, but here we go. It is 11.30. <laughs> and we're already eating lunch. I mean, at least it's better than like, what, half two yesterday or something yeah. silly like that when we ate, um, because we're starving. Um, and it's, been, it's wow. so quiet in here. So we're in the Lucky Nugget, uh, personal fave, like I said, an acquired taste. And look how freaking close we are to the stage. Like, I'm actually so impressed. So everyone's got different meals, so I'm gonna show you them all. So Kieran has got the Halloween menu. Look at, like, the color of this burger. Like, how cool is that? I've got the ribs, which come with onion rings and chips. And Becca has got fish and chips. So, bon appetit. It's quarter past 12, and we've already finished up lunch. I feel like, this might have been quite a clever thing as well because while everyone's now going to go for lunch, like the next two hours, the queue times are going to go down. So we're just leaving Frontierland to head to the Studios Park, which 
I'm not gonna lie, I'm low key excited about. Like, I don't know why. I've never been. She's never been. I don't know why I'm so excited about studios. Like, I'm not usually. So, yeah, we're gonna head there now. Hopefully, the queue times will be, you know, short ish. Um, but we're gonna wait a while before going to Tower of Terror because we've just eaten and I've not had the best stomach recently. So, you know, yeah. You get the gist of what I'm trying to say here. We just don't want any accidents to happen. <laughs> so yeah, we're now walking right down Main Street, USA. Look how cool Kieran's backpack is. I'm actually obsessed, but yeah. So just walking down Main Street. It stopped raining. And we're gonna go to the studio, yeah. I can't get over how quiet it is. It's the weirdest thing. But here are studios. It's been so long since I've been in the studios park. I love it. So they've just redone all of this area. Look at my favorite little fountain though. I love him. Oh my god, it's so quiet in here. It's usually so loud. This is nuts. Pretty. Oh my god, this is so weird to see it this quiet. Okay, so I can literally see Jessie in her little photo spot. And I'm praying to God she spots me because literally cow print loving right now Tara Tara she's dancing away yeah I'm gonna wait for this girl to meet her first because I need to you know have it all in so this is where you can meet the Marvel characters so maybe we'll do that after yeah let's have a little looky to be fair Look at her! Jessie's over there! I'm proud of her, you're matching! Aww! Let's get a photo! Smile! Amazing! Yeah! <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> Bye. So we just saw Jessie and I think we're going to go and meet all the Marvel characters because I don't think you do, I don't think you need to do Lime Bertie for that, but I guess we'll find out. Right next to Jessie is where the Marvel characters are, so yeah, let's do that. So, usually this is where the Marvel stunt show is. Whereas now, you get to meet the Marvel characters, which is super cool. So, you can meet the Marvel characters. I don't think we're going to do it. We just wanted to come in and see them. So, you've got, if you stand here, so we've got Black Widow. Spider-Man, Thor, and Loki. There's nothing really going on in studios because um, it's lunch time. So I think the ride times will be quite quiet. So when Kieran gets here, he's going to do something cool too. So we're just going to go on the Agrabah carpets ride just because it's a five minute wait. But we might go meet Olaf later. But I don't really know. We're going on the first, like, kiddie ride, I would say, of the holiday. Yeah. Kieran's come on the ride. Uh, by myself. Don't want to be. Kieran, he found us. <laughs> We're on the flight of Agrabah, right? This is basically like Dumbo, but not. <laughs> Becca's just moving us up and down. Look. This is the view. Am I gonna get up? Woo! 
going up on a Monday. Crush's coaster is 20 minutes. I don't quite believe that somehow. <laughs> somehow. I swear to God, if this ride is longer than 20 minutes, Q, I'm actually going to cry because it's not great. Sharks have said, oh no. So, fun fact there's actually an app that they ask you to download when the key for this game. Oh, really? It doesn't work. No. <laughs> okay, this is definitely longer than 20 minutes. Okay, so Crush's Coaster is better than I remembered, but that's probably because we only queued like 20 minutes for it. Um, but it is super cute. Definitely would not queue like very long for it, as I said last time. We're now in the queue. I say queue, we're just walking onto RC Racer. I've never done this ride before, and I literally cannot wait. I feel like I might feel a bit sick after it, but you know. Oh well, it's gonna be good. We are still in Toy Story Playland. We've just done RC Racer and oh my God, it's like literally one of my new favorite rides. It's actually freaking insane. We've done a little Toy Story fish, it will I have and the others have. But you know, Toy Story vibes. And we're now gonna go on the Green Army parachute ride, which it's actually another ride at this park I've never done. Really? Yeah, I've actually never done this or yeah. RC. So I'm really, really excited. So it's not just Becca doing first today. And then we're doing Ratatouille, which I have done. And then the scariest ride ever in the whole world. Yeah. The little yeah. army men ride was really, really cute. But the ride is definitely not built for people who have thighs. Because honestly, the little lap belt, like was just digging into my thighs and like I'm not a big girl but I'm not a small girl I'm like curvy and the thigh feeling was not okay but um, we're actually entering Paris now we're basically seeing the Ratatouille ride and yeah this is actually one of the cutest areas of the studios park in my opinion I wish there was like more to it but yeah It's got a very nice ambiance. <laughs> so we just did the parachute ride, which was cool. I don't know, it's a little bit more like ah, um, and now we've come to Paris. Oh god, it's a freaking five minute queue. Ooh, five minutes, let's go. That's unheard of. It's also, really cute. Also, I'm fully glad it's five minutes because it's starting to rain. I love this queue. Gastos! I love the Ratatouille ride, it's so cute. So we've just finished up on that. And Kieran has decided to tell us that Tara Terra is a five minute queue. And if you could see my, oh my God, look, it's just dropped. If you could see my reaction under this mask right now, I am terrified and I've done this before. Oh, I really feel like I should have some calms right now, honestly. But I've just done a little nervous wee. So <laughs> here we go. Hello guys, I'm at the end of the Tower of Terror ride because I put seat out. I was fine in the queue, well there wasn't even the queue, it was a walk-on, and then like when we got into the seats that was like an issue with the ride so like we got told to take our belts off and the gate reopened and she was like can you hold up your belt so we were like yeah and then it happened again and we were like okay this is really weird and she's like no it's fine like there's just a bit of an issue with the ride like let's fix it and like at that point i was like nah i'm getting off <laughs> so if there wasn't an issue with the ride i think i'd have done it but where there was an issue with the ride and i was panicky anyway Okay guys, we are at the Animagic Theatre. I think it's Animagic Theatre. Um, where Mickey and the... What's the show called? I have no idea what the Mickey and the, Mickey and the Magic. I can't pronounce the word. Magic. Mag, mag, 
magician I can't say that word but you know what I mean um, it's <laughs> usually <laughs> that's the one yeah me oh. and that that show is usually here so obviously because of Covid it can't happen you can meet some of the characters from there so it's a princess godmother and Mickey typically and we're hoping it's Belle because for obvious reasons um, it's usually Belle or Cinders so we will see like I personally don't want to get a picture with them I just want to get a picture of them because I think it's going to look really pretty but yeah we will see and then then I think we're going to head back to the main park yes how does that sound guys? Happy Space Mountain round two anyone? Yeah. Round one for Kieran. <laughs> I'm actually living my best life. I'm a bit tired though. I think it's because like with, I was saying to Becca earlier, because with COVID, like you don't do as much anymore. Like so, like usually if you go out, you may be leaving your house like an hour, two hours. So like doing a full on Disney day kills you off more than normal. So that's why I'm a bit knackered. Bingo. <laughs> oh my god. She might cry. She is beautiful. Oh my goodness. So Mickey's over in the corner like dancing. Oh look at him. He looks so lonely. Tricks for us, Mickey. Are we gonna do a super pose? <gasps> Amazing! You are the cutest thing ever. <gasps> oh my gosh! Amazing! Have a lovely day, Mickey. Does anybody want a picture with him? Uh, Au revoir, Mickey. We just saw Belle, and she was so beautiful. She loved Becca's outfit and her ears. And I got a really cute twirling boomerang of her. And then we saw Mickey. And he was super cute. Um, finally heading back to the Disneyland park. Um, and then we're going to do like the same as yesterday. Like chill maybe in Casey's or something. And just grab a drink. Maybe a little afternoon snack. But yeah. That has been the studios part. Hello everyone. It is now quarter past three. And we have come down. Well, I've taken that we've gone to the main park to sit and have our daily just you know moment where we embrace everything. So I've got a bottle of water because I'm not drinking enough H2O. And I got some ice cream. Safe hydrated kids. Yeah, I mean I don't think it's the weather for ice cream, but I'm literally boiling. Um, can we appreciate that this was massive curls this morning? And here we are. We were just about to go and it's a small world. And then this happened. It's Jesse. And Rafiki. Park is closed for today. 
We are now in Isle of Sandwich. If you guys have watched my Disney vlogs before, you'll know that I love a bit of Isle of Sandwich. <laughs> but I don't actually remember the last time I vlogged. I think it was literally when we were sat outside the ice cream parlor on Main Street. And we did so much between that time. So we went on Hyperspace Mountain. We went on Dumbo. We went on, I can never say the ride, but the Storybrook like water boat ride. It's something in French. Uh, and then we did Small World again, and then we saw the Cavalcade, which you'll have just seen. And now I've got my Earl of Sandwich, I've got the Hawaiian barbecue one, and then I've got some potato wedges, and then I just got a coat. But honestly, we are shattered. I think we've literally done pretty much everything possible in the parks in two days which is just kind of unheard of <laughs> so tomorrow i just think we're going to take it easy do all of our favorite rides and just soak in the last day of disney what the heck so we kind of cream crackered <laughs> we're literally out for the count um I can't believe we've practically done everything in two days. It's actually insane. Like all we have to do tomorrow is like three rides that we like haven't done. Three rides, I'd say. The carousel, Scary Snow White ride, which is not called Scary Snow White, and Pinocchio. I literally think that's it. And maybe Casey Jr. if we want to. So like what, four rides we haven't done and they're like little kiddie rides. So that's crazy. Um, yeah, so tomorrow we're just going to sort of take it easy, probably go on a load of thrill rides first thing in the morning, um, eat good food, probably do some selfie spots, sure. yeah, probably some <laughs> selfie spots, who knows, but I've just done some shopping at World of Disney, I haven't actually brought that much this trip, probably because I'm now a pass holder, so... I'll be coming more often once the two week quarantine thing is gone. Um, so I won't have to buy as much on my trips. But that is the end of day two in Disneyland Paris. It is now 20 to 8, which is very early for a Disney day to be over. But that's COVID for you. Um, if you did enjoy this video, like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you guys soon for day three of Disney. Bye. Bye.